Hello everybody, this is Tina, and I'm here to share the small violins that was a kit that I offered, and you could alter them. And I did a vintage one, a steampunk one, and I will have Sabrina the Mismatch Crafters channel linked in the description box because she did the shabby chic one so you can kind of see what they all look like. And I'll start with the... Uh, steampunk one. I'm gonna bring you guys down. So what I did is I used Ruby Royal, which was a, like a metallic color, and I painted it that color first, and then I took black. I let that dry, and then I took black and I did a wipe. I just let it. I put the black down, let it sit for a few seconds, and then I wiped it off with a paper towel to get that look. <clears throat> and then. I just added gears and I cut some in half and randomly put them and then I put this little key thing here, a key up here, and I just left the black back just the way I want, you know, and I left the chrome strings like that and with the, with the gears I did do the same technique, I kind of um, painted them, actually I started painting these black first and put the royal uh, color on top of them and then I kind of just kind of wiped it off just to give it a touch of that but That's what this looks like I left the, uh, the copper wires the way they came I just, so That's that one and then I didn't do the vintage one on live. I worked on it last night. This one took me a bit I'll admit I changed it three, four times, and then I, this is the vintage one. So what I did here is I just painted it brown very lightly, and I wiped it off, wiped the brown off. I just left some, let the wood soak up a little bit, and then I wiped it off. I did add black one around the edges a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, and then I added some uh, little Tim Holtz person, a little cluster I made with a gold wire, um, that spaghetti string or whatever you call it, eyelash trim, sorry, pearls, some buttons, a metal flower, says Joy. Then I had these. This was actually one piece. I cut it in half. I varnished it or vintaged it up with black, a little blue, and some gold. And then some black over that. And I have some little cluster with pearls right there. Up here I did a little cluster and then added this metal piece. And I did that black. Added some gold. I could have added a little bit more gold on that. Or copper. or Yeah, it's a copper. Pearl and a button. And I left the strings as the way they are. And the back is plain. And that's that one. I like how it looks. I'm very proud of how these turned out, so I'm very happy. You can tell the color different. One's a little bit much darker than the other. And when it comes to the steampunk one, I usually do steampunk in plain black and just black and silver all the time. So this one, I stepped out of my little comfort zone and did the brown and ruby and copper tones. So I'm very proud how they looked. Sabrina's shabby chic one is awesome. So, I will, like I said, I will have Sabrina's channel linked in the description box below. I do not have any more little violins, but I did put small violins for crafts in my Google search bar. And it came up with a lot of places you can buy them at. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, let me take a drink real quick. Wow, I don't know where that's coming from. I don't edit, so you're, you're in there. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> wow. So, I hope you enjoyed these. If you have any questions, and if anybody that bought the kit, um, please share what you did with yours in Tina's Crafty Life. I know two people got a guitar and two people bought the violin kits. I would love to see what you do with yours. So, please leave a picture in Tina's Crafty Life and friends on Facebook, or send me a picture by email if you don't want to do it there. I'd love to see what you did with yours. 
I want to thank you for watching. As always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now.